Okay, welcome to this beautiful house in Rio Gordo. It's very traditional and it's very rustic. It has interesting lighting on the walls and rustic floors and furniture. Thick walls and wooden windows. So we come straight from the little terrace, nice little corner of the street here, um, into the dining room. It's dining room at the moment, it could be a living room. We have a wood burner here and nice double doors, very traditional double doors. A small step up through thick walls to a kitchen. Very practical, very rustic style but modern facilities. Quite a good space. Very light and airy, lots of windows and air coming through. This is a dishwasher. And we have an oven below the gas hob. And the window which looks out onto the little patio, which is one of several in this house. Behind the very nice stable door, we have a microwave and further units and the units above. And that goes out into a patio. with the terraces above. The stairs go up to the garden. There's a locked cupboard here for cleaning things and laundry and opposite is a bathroom with a locked up cupboard for also for laundry and cleaning things in case anyone wants to let the house. WC, basin and a shower. Nicely tiled, clean, neat. Very nice wooden doors and windows throughout. There's a window here as well. So this is the lower patio. It has a door there through, which we'll go through in a second. This, that's the kitchen window. This is a little um, alcove area where there's a washing machine, a little, like a laundry. Um, and two further windows letting in light into the house. Easy access plumbing from both floors. Great for storage of uh, various things and the gas bottles for the kitchen and the hot water here. So here's our lower patio. Come through these double doors into the living room. Very traditional, very rustic, with nice uh, stone features from the original stone of the house because this is a stone built house, traditional stone built house. We'll just come to the other end of the room and look back. It's so peaceful and quiet here, you can't hear anyone from the street because it's a bit of a maze, this house, and it goes back and back and up and up. It's an air conditioning unit above the double doors. Okay, now we go down one step and then we've got a series of steps here. Three, three or four steps going down and steps going up to the bedrooms and the upper terraces. So first of all, we'll go downstairs. And this is like a little office room. Because the walls are thick, um, you can't really knock them about. Um, but there's plenty of rooms and plenty of space anyway. Let's back up to the living room. So this could be a little office area, or a linen store, a library, whatever you wanted it to be, this little space here. Very thick walls here, no steps here, through to a downstairs bedroom. This is like a spare bedroom, because there's three other bedrooms upstairs. So it doesn't have to be a bedroom, it could be another living room, but it doesn't have a window. It's an internal wall, except for this little window here which looks out onto that little laundry area there, out there. Get a good look at this room here. We 
again, thick walls and beams up there into the dining room where we started, where we came in from the street. It would be nice to add decorative beams here, it would give it more of a rustic feel, but it's very rustic as it is. Okay, we can take these stairs here, because the other stairs we saw from the from the middle little room, or the office, join up here as well as we'll see. We can look back from the dining room here, on the, onto the dining room. We go quite steep steps, but not many of them. So, if we come around here first, no, actually, we'll go this way first. Sorry. <laughs> so, there's the stairs. Wonderful walls here. All the original stonework showing out. And then there's here as a bedroom and a bathroom, which is for this room. So, walk in here, one small step up, little window, basin, WC, nice tiling, nice clean bright tiling, brings in maximum light and walk in, very decent sized shower. So bedroom number one, if we don't include the guest bedroom we've seen downstairs, this is the first bedroom on the, on the upper floor. It has a window which looks out onto the, uh, the pool terrace and the garden terrace there. Mosquito nets in the windows. You've got the pipe coming up here from the wood burner, so when that's going that'll warm up and keep this room nice and warm. And you've got double wooden doors out onto a balcony overlooking the village freestanding wardrobe here but there's space to add a uh, built-in wardrobe in that corner there if anyone wanted to. We'll have a quick look from the balcony. So there's the, the little patio downstairs, there's a house next door and their little terrace above so it's that's the only place where you can see the neighbours really. There's a couple of garages here but the rest of the view and the upstairs as well is very beautiful of the the village and the hills behind. Just a little snapshot of Rio Gordo. Rio Gordo is a medium sized town. I would call it a town rather than a village because it has lots and lots of facilities. Um, so um, you've got everything here and plenty of very nice bars and restaurants as well. Here's bedroom number two, so it's along this passage here. So it's just a partition wall to divide. And this room has a skylight window. So that brings in lots of light. So it's a double room. Again, lovely old walls here with all the gnarled features coming through from the stone. And through this thick wall here, one step up and we are at the stairs which go down to the little office room and the so the office is down there on the left and on the right is the little living room. Here we have a second bathroom. One very shallow step up, blue tiled floor, nice white tiles on the walls. The house hasn't been lived in for quite a long time so there's a little bit of repainting to do, but the owners are happy to do that before anyone buys it. Nice big bath. Full size bath, it looks like a well, almost. And, a, and a sh an overhead shower. There's um, space there to add a little uh, extractor. Okay, so we'll now go up these steps. And just before we go outside to the upper terrace, we turn left, perhaps have a few more steps, to the third bedroom upstairs. This is bedroom number four in total. Air conditioning unit. It's a nice big size. It's got, at the moment it's stacked with the outdoor furniture. Um, so it, that takes up a bit of space, but if you can see beyond that, it's actually a really big room with two nice 
big windows. This window overlooks the pool and the gardens. Freestanding wardrobe, plenty of space to add, add a uh, fitted wardrobe. Okay, so we'll head outside now. So this is the upper terrace. And there's plenty of roofing. If anyone wanted to go crazy on terraces, there's plenty more space to do it. Very private because there's lots of bushes and trees around. From this point you can see a few houses over there, but from the pool you can't see them at all as you'll see. And the, in the middle here we have the open courtyard down to the lower patio. Living room door, bathroom down there and the steps up and the kitchen down at the right there. That's the bedroom, the first upstairs bedroom we saw, the window for it. Mm. Neighbours have a, a garden here which is overgrown but that's rather nice because it gives a bit of greenery. And here you can see those steps from the lower patio going up all the way up to the garden for easy access from downstairs as well so you don't have to climb steps. Well you do have to go up steps but you don't have to climb through the steps in the house. Here we have the pool and the rest of the garden. The pool is around Three, and a, three by three and a half metres. Very nice. Barbecue area at the back. A couple of steps up here. Another level here. There's some mandarin orange trees. Looking a bit sad because they need to be watered, but uh, never mind. Whoever buys this will look after it and fill it with flowers, that's how I can imagine it. There's those, the ramp and the steps going down. And we go up here to this next level. The beautiful pomegranate tree, which has got pomegranates on it. And another little fruit tree, citrus fruit tree there. And then a couple of steps up here to a little back terrace, which is where they hang out the washing and we've also got a wood store running all the way along here for the wood buyer so it's all very neat and tidy. A wall dividing from the neighbours and some beautiful views over there. So there's one more thing to see now, a bit of a surprise, with all this lovely outside space, we have a bit more. And I have to make sure I don't go the wrong way, which is this way. A couple of steps down here. We have a little gate here, so that if it's rented out people don't go up there. And more roofing. There's the skylight window of that second bedroom upstairs. We've got solar panels here for the hot water. Neatly tacked or tucked away so you don't see them on the main terrace. Now you can begin to get some lovely views over the village. And we'll come up a few more steps to an upper terrace. And from here, we'll just have a quick look at the little terrace. Satellite dish. Overlooking the pool and the garden. And some views. And that's this house in Rio Gordo, a very special property.